Just because it was the weekend doesn't mean that Helldivers get time to rest. The studio may have taken some R&R, but the new information just kept flying in. Arrowhead's CEO was busy asking for solutions over on Twitter, and it created a lot of interesting responses. We need to talk about this enemy type because they are getting some attention. We've got some stratagem hot takes and a big breakdown of changes the community may not know about. Welcome to the channel, it's Lieutenant Buzz Lightbeer, and I tried to grab a sampling of all the new topics and info hitting Helldivers, including a new Superstore shop and the new Daily Order. I mean, there's definitely a lot here. In case you haven't done so already, make sure to hit subscribe and ring the notifications bell to receive my future upload alerts. And here's the latest from Helldivers. As always, chapters are in place and there in case you want to use them. Anyways, let's start off with the Superstore Reset that is now featuring the CM21 Trench Paramedic body armor that is a hybrid of sorts between light and medium armor, so slightly less armor than medium but with elevated speed and stamina regen stats. It also features the med kit passive talent for plus two stems holding capacity along with increases to stem efficiency duration by two seconds. The FS-11 Executioner is the current heavy armor offering with the fortified talent for reduced recoil for crouching or prone along with 50% resistance to explosive damage. Today's personal or daily order is to kill 25 hunters, which we Helldivers will gladly do as these little effers, along with chargers, seem to be firmly in the top five most hated enemy types. They are everywhere in terminated missions, so this will be a lock to complete, and we can then snag those 15 war bonds. Now, sticking with those hunters and these things are the most annoying enemies we have to deal with especially since they seem to be able to leap from insane distances to land right at our feet and then when they do attack they also inflict us with a slowdown effect and if you get surrounded by these things even though they're pretty small it could mean a swift death especially since you can't seem to break free of that slowdown attack a point so beautifully portrayed by this Reddit post with over 10.7 thousand upvotes and I just, I love this. Could you stop slowing me down for five minutes? And the top comment on this post says, I hate these things with a passion more than chargers. They are just so obnoxious and I tend to agree with this. I've learned to handle chargers, but these things are just so plentiful and can really wreak havoc. Let me know if you agree with this post, and if not, what is your top most hated enemy type currently in the game? Next up is this discussion around players getting kicked for petty reasons, which Johan responded to over the weekend. And this has been an issue ever since the game launched, because there really is no good defense against getting kicked. We've also seen this argument that if a player was using the wrong stratagems or weapons for 7s through 9s, that was grounds for an immediate kick. Point is, the system is there and in the game, and it is being abused by certain players. Johan responded to this discussion with the following, This is so shitty. Also very hard to solve. We have some ideas, but no conclusion. You know what? Let's try this. Hive mind. Do you have a design suggestion for how to improve this experience? Now, some of the answers he got were actually really good, ranging from a pre-match in-game setting to limit cross-platform or kind of just go balls to the wall, a system to highlight recent teammates that may have kicked you, and then you could block them so you never get matched with them again, and even a system that would recognize where in the mission you were actually kicked, and then it would create an identical session and then reinsert you back into the game into that mission with the same gear progression and kind of all of that knock on wood i guess i've been extremely lucky with this as you know i play on pc and i think i've been kicked once maybe twice but that was before i ever even made it planet side so it could have been something to do with the session host wanting to limit the party size or you know something like that anyways i know it's an issue because i have read the post and i see the discussions over on reddit what would be your remedy to implementing a fair alternative to the kick system? 
Moving along, and we've got two Reddit posts, both with quite a few upvotes, zeroing in on stratagems. The first of which says, hot take, in my opinion, 500 kg is the worst airstrike. And it basically lays out each alternative airstrike to the 500 kg, and then lists where you can use them, and just how effective they are in comparison. They do, however, say that the 500 kg is the coolest looking airstrike, but, you know, the Held Irish community has been voicing some concerns over this strike for a while now, mainly due to the inconsistent nature of the explosions themselves, as enemies have literally walked through the blast as if nothing happened around them. The second of these stratagem posts is actually a pretty hilarious rant, although it's built off of nothing but truth about the 380mm cannon, which I'm in total agreement with. Just listen to this. It says, I've been running the last several games and purely based off my anecdotal evidence, I am firmly under the impression that the 380 millimeter cannon gunner is in fact an automaton. I would say that's true, yes. Throw the 380 millimeter into a heavy bug nest, get some distance to watch the fireworks, First round is directly on my effing head. Second round, somehow even further behind me to hit my teammate in a mech. Nah, miss me with this shit. Find me the 380 millimeter gunner. I'm throwing that stupid son of a bitch into the vacuum of space. Aim at the massive goddamn Bile Titan taking up to 20% of the impact radius. Nah. The three chargers, I sleep. A hell diver on the ground, hell yeah, brother. Lock that shit in. F you, 380 millimeter gunner. I'm on to your binary speaking ass. Yes, yes, and hell yeah. Now, the last few missions I've run using this barrage, I think both me and my squad mates have been killed by this thing more than the giant bug nest I've actually tossed it into. But seriously, this thing needs a lot of tuning as it has totally lost control. Next up is a topic I raised last week and also since then concerning stealth changes that were not listed in the patch notes. As we tended to zero in on those more publicized adjustments to the breaker, the railgun, and the shield, but there was a lot more that never made it into those notes, and this post over on Reddit, which has now earned almost 3,500 upvotes, spells them out. There were actually more weapon changes than first listed, some of which have since been announced, along with a better explanation for armor values pre and post patch, with armor values set to 100 before the patch, essentially buffing light armor to that of medium sets. Enemy aggro, a topic I've discussed many times, was also tested and confirmed to have been buffed in terms of aggro range, which has been increased across the board by a further 5 meters. For instance, if you were standing pre-patch, enemy aggro range for sight was set at 45 meters. Now, post-patch, it is at 50 meters. Also, according to this post, other suspected changes were to the 500 kg and its max damage output, orbital laser actually being nerfed, and then the biggies I was calling out last week, enemy aggression, where even breaking line of sight will not cause targets to lose interest, enemy spawn frequencies, enemy spawning in right on top of players, and even bile titan speed and health, which both seem to have been buffed. It also looks like the Stratagem Scrambler modifier may not be in the game any longer post-patch, and it's too bad they can't get rid of those other two that wreck havoc with our Stratagems, increased cooldowns by 100% and increased call-in times by 50%. Still, very interesting list of stealth changes, and I will link this one in the video description so you can keep an eye on it for yourselves. Arrowhead said the enemy issues would be addressed in a future hotfix, and we need to keep an eye out for that one. Recently, we've also seen a metric crap ton of data mined leaks hitting the intrawebs, from new armor sets to new vehicles to the new faction, the Illuminate. Seriously, there's so much there that they are finding in the game files, even something like 22,000 pieces of new information, like sound files, but you know, I'm not going to be showing you any of that today. Not that I won't in the future, because I love to see those files and kind of study over those images. But everything that has recently surfaced would take up to an entire video just to do it justice. And we know Arrowhead seems to have a lot planned for us, as we even have the new Battle Pass going live in a few days. 
And finally, we've got a bit of a WTF Helldivers moment with over 2,700 upvotes on Reddit. This has to be the luckiest set of armor in the game. And just watch what goes down here as this player is just ragdolled repeatedly, landing in a full pit of automatons. And then somehow their armor holds up. And just look at the bottom of the screen at the damage indicators, by the way, as all five areas are in the red. Seriously. I have no idea in hell how they actually survived, but GG's to Printer Paper 18 for this great escape. Okay, that's all we've got time for today, and I'm really looking ahead to this week as we're in for a lot of Helldivers news. Remember to hit subscribe and ring that notifications bell to receive my latest upload alerts. All my socials can be found in the video description. By the way, there's also an open invite link there as well where you can join my official Discord community and take advantage of our Helldivers channels. We've got areas for tips and tricks, general discussions, and of course the LFG or looking for group board where you can find other badass Helldivers to squad with and use our free Discord voice channels to activate those mics and coordinate the pain. Shout out to the nearly 207,000 of you that have taken the plunge and hit subscribe. The recent channel growth is ludicrous and, you know, it's just awesome to see. So many thanks to all of you. And until the next one, this is Lieutenant Buzz Lightbeer signing off.